对。The viral footage from Shenzhen shows a humanoid robot accompanying police officers during street patrols in the city's Nanshan district. The robot is seen walking at human pace, stopping when officers stop and maintaining formation alongside law enforcement personnel. The videos were filmed by civilians and later shared by state-affiliated and local media outlets. The deployment took place in one of China's most technologically dense urban zones, where major robotics and artificial intelligence firms are headquartered. And this is not the only thing this robot can do. <笑>太暴力了 the robot in the footage has been widely referred to online as the T-800. According to information released by the manufacturer, the unit is part of a humanoid robotics platform developed by Shenzhen-based company Engine AI. Engine AI has previously identified the robot model used in public demonstrations as the PM01 humanoid platform. The company has not announced a product named T800 for law enforcement deployment. The T800 label has circulated primarily through social media descriptions and reposts rather than official statements. Engine AI has stated in prior communications that its humanoid robots are capable of bipedal walking, obstacle avoidance, gesture interaction, and basic voice response. The robot seen in Shenzhen does not carry weapons and does not perform arrests. There is no indication that it operates independently of human officers. Its movement pattern follows pre-programmed locomotion routines rather than autonomous decision-making. The robot's role during patrols is observational and demonstrative. Chinese police authorities have not described the robot as a replacement for officers. Official reporting indicates the robot is being tested as a support unit for visibility, crowd awareness and public engagement. The robot's presence increases attention during patrols and serves as a visual demonstration of smart policing initiatives currently underway in several Chinese cities. The unit does not issue commands, conduct interrogations, or manage enforcement actions. Engine AI previously addressed claims that footage of its humanoid robots was computer-generated. In response to similar viral videos earlier in 2025, the company released behind-the-scenes recordings showing uninterrupted movement, physical contact with the ground, and real-time balance adjustments. In that statement, Engine AI said the robot footage was recorded without visual effects or post-production synthesis. 
That clarification followed online skepticism about the realism of humanoid motion shown in promotional material. Shenzhen has been used repeatedly as a testing ground for advanced public technology. The city is designated as a national innovation hub and houses major robotics, semiconductor and artificial intelligence research centers. Local authorities have partnered with private firms to pilot automated traffic systems, facial recognition platforms, and robotic public service tools. The robot police patrols fit into this broader smart city development framework rather than a standalone policing program. China has previously deployed non-humanoid robots for public security tasks. Autonomous traffic robots have been used in cities such as Hangzhou and Chengdu to assist with pedestrian flow and signal monitoring. Robotic dogs equipped with cameras have been tested for patrol observation in industrial parks. The Shenzhen humanoid deployment represents an escalation in form factor rather than function, introducing a human-shaped robot into a public law enforcement setting. According to publicly available specifications released by Engine AI, the PM01 humanoid platform weighs under 50 kilograms and stands approximately 1.4 meters tall. It uses electric actuators for joint movement and is powered by onboard batteries. The robot is designed for indoor and outdoor walking on paved surfaces. There is no evidence that it is equipped with facial recognition software or law enforcement databases during these patrols. Chinese state media coverage of the Shenzhen patrols has focused on technological capability rather than policing outcomes. Reports describe the robot as a demonstration of progress in humanoid engineering and artificial intelligence integration. No data has been released on crime deterrence, response efficiency, or operational evaluation tied to the deployment. The patrols are described as experimental and observational in nature. Over the past year, China's humanoid robot industry has shifted from controlled trials to large-scale industrial output. By early 2025, multiple production lines were already operating at volume, and shipments were no longer counted in dozens. They were counted in thousands. This transition has occurred within a short time frame and reflects a coordinated industrial push rather than isolated corporate growth. AGI Bot, a robotic startup founded in Shanghai in 2023, represents one of the most visible examples of this acceleration. The company has entered mass production operations and is delivering humanoid robots to commercial clients. AGI Bot has publicly set a revenue target of approximately 142 million US dollars for 2025 and plans to deploy around 5,000 humanoid robots within the same year. These units are being allocated to industrial and service-based settings rather than consumer households. The robots being shipped are designed for defined operational roles. They are intended to perform tasks such as material transport, inspection assistance, and repetitive handling work in controlled environments. These deployments are taking place in factories, logistics centers, and service facilities where workflows are structured and measurable. This deployment strategy reduces operational uncertainty and allows faster integration into existing systems. The rapid expansion of companies like AGIBot is closely tied to national policy decisions. In 2024, humanoid robots were formally designated as a strategic emerging industry at the national level. This classification placed humanoid robotics alongside sectors considered critical to industrial modernization. As a result, companies operating in this field gained access to policy tools that support accelerated production and deployment. These policy tools include financial incentives, coordinated land use approvals, and integration into regional manufacturing plans. Local governments have aligned industrial parks and factory zones to support robotics manufacturing. This has reduced setup time for new production facilities and allowed companies to move from prototype assembly to serial production without prolonged delays. Manufacturing speed has also been influenced by supply chain structure. China hosts large-scale domestic production of components essential to humanoid robots, including electric motors, gearboxes, actuators, sensors, batteries, and control systems. Many of these components are already produced at scale for other industries such as electric vehicles and consumer electronics. 
This overlap allows humanoid robot manufacturers to source parts without establishing new supplier networks. Analysts have pointed out that producing humanoid robots outside China often results in higher costs. This is largely due to dependence on imported components, longer logistics chains, and limited access to high-volume suppliers. When components must cross borders, expenses increase through transportation costs, tariffs, and extended lead times. Domestic sourcing within China reduces these constraints and allows tighter coordination between design and manufacturing teams. Cost control plays a central role in the current expansion. While early humanoid robot prototypes in some markets have been reported to cost several hundred thousand dollars per unit, Chinese manufacturers are working toward lower production costs by scaling output and standardizing components. Although specific pricing for AGI Bots robots has not been disclosed, the company's production targets indicate an emphasis on commercial viability rather than limited demonstration units. The focus on commercial deployment is consistent across the broader industry. Several Chinese robotics firms have announced production plans that involve hundreds or thousands of humanoid units per year. These plans are tied to contractual delivery schedules rather than experimental timelines. This signals that humanoid robots are being treated as industrial products integrated into supply chains, not as research projects awaiting validation. Regional clustering has further accelerated development. Robotics companies are concentrated in manufacturing hubs where suppliers, assembly facilities, and testing centers operate in proximity. This structure shortens iteration cycles and allows rapid feedback between deployment sites and production teams. Adjustments to hardware and software can be implemented quickly when issues arise in real-world use. Labor and productivity considerations are also driving adoption. Humanoid robots are being positioned to supplement human workers in environments facing labor shortages or rising operational costs. In industrial settings, robots can operate across extended shifts without fatigue. In logistics environments, they can handle repetitive movement tasks that are difficult to automate using fixed machinery. International interest is beginning to emerge. While most current deployments remain domestic, manufacturers have indicated plans to expand exports. Markets in Southeast Asia and parts of the Middle East are being evaluated due to high demand for automation and fewer regulatory barriers. Entry into these regions would increase production volumes and further reduce per-unit manufacturing costs. The United States continues to develop humanoid robotics through several high-profile companies. These efforts have emphasized advanced mobility, perception, and control systems. However, publicly disclosed deployments have remained limited in scale. Large commercial shipments measured in the thousands have not yet been widely reported. This difference in output volume has become a defining contrast between the two markets. Industrial policy differences contribute to this gap. In China, humanoid robotics development is aligned with national economic planning and regional manufacturing strategies. In the United States, development relies more heavily on private capital and incremental pilot programs. These structural differences affect timelines, production scale, and cost trajectories. China's existing automation base provides additional momentum. The country already installs more industrial robots annually than any other market. Factories accustomed to robotic systems can integrate humanoid platforms with fewer adjustments. This reduces training requirements and shortens deployment timelines. The speed of transition is notable. From strategic designation to mass production, the shift has occurred in roughly a year and a half. During this period, production lines were established, suppliers were integrated, and deployment contracts were executed. This compressed timeline reflects industrial readiness rather than speculative forecasting. By mid-2025, the measurable outcomes are clear. Thousands of humanoid robots are being manufactured and delivered. Revenue targets have been formally stated, deployment environments are operational, the current phase is defined by execution at scale, supported by domestic manufacturing capacity and coordinated industrial planning, rather than experimental development or conceptual projections.